start the episode off on a somber note talking about the briefness of life and Carlos said going on vacation with Portia was on his bucket list. That's a shallow bucket. Carlos said I have no feminine characteristics. He is straight, 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 hetero, 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 hetero. He is the softest bunny, straight, straight, honey, he is straight to the vajayjay. Saying hey hey, shout out to the softest bunny on TikTok, but he is giving hetero hetero vogue hetero. Oh God, Porsche is one of the few women that Carlos would get it up. You want a forty-year-old skeezer? Mm. Oh God, now you gonna say that's the woman for you? But you get butterflies. That just means you wanna be them, honey. That don't mean you wanna put it in the puss. Not with butterflies. Butterfly kisses? You think your butterfly kisses are going to turn them on? Butterfly pussy because you spread it wide. Lay it low and spread it wide. Carlos, you've never been with a woman because no woman would want to be with you. Oh, God, but before he goes up to Jesus to get his crown, King of Reality TV, he wants to try a little bit of puss. Your crown... Now, I'm not going to say I don't want you to go to heaven. I don't want, I, 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 even I don't dislike you that much. Even I don't. But a crown, bitch. A crown. That's the last thing you need. Oh, God, Carlos said you should be happy that I'm gay because if I wasn't, I'd scam your squirrel. Carlos, you gay and I ain't afraid about you taking no man from me. If I was a straight man, I would spoil her. I would lay down the red carpet for her. And they still wouldn't want your thick tongue or butterfly kisses. I'm sorry, all that I'd spoil her? Girl, you're thinking like a sissy. They would want heterosexuality, masculinity. You would not be able to provide or abide. He said I would spoil the fuck out of Portia. Well, she needs some money, so you got your chance. Do your dance. Take off your pants. I'm sorry if you ever tried to pat Portia's puss. All you'd end up with is her singing, He wasn't man enough for me. Oh, God. Now Young Jock says, I had a lot of gays that felt what I said when I said I wouldn't take 250 to perform in front of a gay audience of lusting men. Them men ain't lusting over you. Have you looked in a mirror? I'm surprised you can pull the damaged women you pull, but after all, it is Atlanta. Child, young jock, I do not believe that you were at a gay event and somebody tried to flirt with you. Not with that face. They must have been joking. Okay, now they talking about gay men and straight men. Straight men bring their happy butts to us. They, I have been hit on by more straight men than you would believe. Then you, we don't go looking. They bark up our tree. Trust and believe. Asia in the chat said, Jock don't want to perform for the gays because he don't want his sneaky link to put him on blast. Catch. So after that awkward homosexual mayor culpa, he says he always wanted to do television. And that's why he did Love and Hip Hop. You needed the check and to stay relevant like Carlos suggested. For once, the thick tongue had a point. It was blunt, but it was a point. So he does explain that he used love and hip hop to parlay into his radio show and other hosting gigs, which has lined his pockets, and now he's doing movies on Tubi. I, I respect that. I respect knowing how to play the entertainment game and realize, okay, the rap thing, the sun setting on that, how can I parlay? And he has parlayed. I'd be in a Tubi movie, but not a Tyler Perry. 
Jock really talked about how Tay was so protective of April while they were doing a movie together. Yeah, that's his beard. He's not going to let you pull her back into a love and hip hop plot line and embarrass him. So they interviewed young Jock's ex-wife Alexandria for Housewives of Atlanta, but they didn't have enough drama at the time because she wasn't willing to put out his chitete. So he said he was really dating Carly. It wasn't just to get on the show. He says he waited six months to have sex with Carly because he was still out there having his way. He wasn't trying to smash everything. But you have nine kids by five women, but you ain't trying to smash everything. A lie I don't care who tell it. Oh God, so Young Jock talks about how the several streams of income have really helped him, which I could see. He's dropping a couple of gems and showing a little bit of a roadmap, but then Carlos have to come in and say, that's why I tell my cast that reality TV is just a vehicle. No, you're saying that so you don't have to pay him. You know, I was about to say something so nasty and so rude, but I'm gonna keep that to myself. Were you in love with Cardi? I couldn't make it to the in love stage. Neither could anyone else. Love to hear him talking about we was hanging out and we were too drunk and drove back in an Uber. Love to hear responsible adult tea. Ooh, Asia said, I want to know about baby knees. Exactly, but he said he don't want to fuck everything. But, but, but baby knees, he was humping on her. Shout out to Ford's Rocks who gave her that nickname, baby knees. Oh, God, he's telling this story about Carly, and it's just going on and on. He really needs to keep these interviews to an hour. I am so sick of these men. When it comes to go parenting, talking about how the mothers have to be so willing and the responsibility on the mothers, because the mothers, the mothers. Why don't you, as the father... Stop making so many women mothers. You as the father plant the seed and spread it low and wide. But it's always the responsibility of the women to put everything aside for the betterment of the chil of your children, the women. Never you. It's never time for you to put your penis in your pants. But it's always time for the women to put aside their feelings for the greater good. Now your feelings are paramount because when it's time for you to put aside your feelings for the greater good, oh no, your penis must get out and in. But with them, their feelings must remain tucked away. Why don't you tuck your dick away? Try that. And Asia said, and only to marry a childless woman. 415,000 kids were going to marry a childless woman. You ain't shit, you ain't shit, you ain't shit. Baby, you ain't shit. Then he talking about find the time. Hey, we can find the time to define what is good for we, yeah. Anybody remember that song? That must have been like 91 through 94, 95 maybe. You know, when I hear stories like this, I think back to when I thought being heterosexual would have made life easier for me. And now I realize as I sit here with my sweet Bronx in my little apartment, which I actually really like having a smaller apartment because I can hear my laptop from the kitchen, and that's what's important. I don't need a whole bunch of rooms. I really am like, you know what? I may be in the bungalow phase of my life. He said, and then think about all the gifts. I can't buy one MacBook. I gotta buy five. Jock, you did not choose to procreate with any of these women. The nut just took. Much to your children's chagrin. Because if I was your child, but I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. I'm just grateful that my parents are my parents and I look how I look. Because I, I will mm -mm. You know what, though? I don't like you specifically, so that's why I don't want to look like you. I don't want anybody to say I'm colorist or featurist. You're just a shithead. And I would never want to look in the mirror and be reminded of a shithead. I love my parents. So when I look in the mirror and I see bits of them... I ain't upset. I see my father's smile and my mother's complexion. Come on, Chang!
You really going to say for a black man to have nine kids, but you have peace. He does not have peace. He has a plot line. His wife doesn't like him and has realized she's made a horrible mistake. She just ain't left his ass yet. Carlos, why do you suffer such fools? Oh, that's right. You are one. You are the thief in the night that tried to steal Candy Burris' life story, as well as the other heifers in the group. Carlos, why don't you come on my show so I can ask you some humorous yet hard-hitting questions? Why don't you come on my show so that you don't just have a fluff piece, but you have true journalism? No. No, this isn't going to be journalism. This is going to be an inquisition. We the people are going to ask what we want and need to know. But we all know you're not man enough to stand shoulder to shoulder with me. Or tall enough. So there was some video of... Jo you know what? I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to stop. In the words of Janelle Monet, I don't have life to devote to this. This isn't interesting. This isn't consequential. This isn't good. This isn't entertaining. This isn't educational. This is a waste of my time and yours. Now, I watch things so that you don't have to suffer through, but even I have my limits. There's not shit here. There's not shit here. I mean, it was young jock, so we were barely going to get anything anyway, but I said, you know what? I love you so much, I'm going to suffer for you. But after an hour and 15 minutes, I am finished. He has nothing to say to us. One of you was flat.